So one of the things about being in a rural area now is we've got a lot more lawn to cut. So we had to invest in this little Cub Cadet uh, ride-on lawnmower. And the amusing thing about this is, one, it's the most, most modern vehicle I've, I've ever owned. And two, the engine in this, it has a little twin-cylinder Kawasaki engine, uh, 24 horsepower. So I think this thing has more horsepower than the Austin 7, um, which is kind of amusing, really. So it just kind of shows what, you know, almost 100 years of technology gives you. But at the moment, it's kind of wet and raining. Uh, I can't really show it because the doors are shut, but the timber actually arrived for my workbench. But I can't start making that at the moment because I want to cut the timber outside so I don't get sawdust everywhere. And of course, I can't do that when it's all wet and rainy. So that'll be a job for another day, but I should be able to build a two and a half meter or so long bench there and have enough timber left over for another two meter bench, probably along the back wall there for now. Um, and that should work well. I finally had a chance to build one of my workbenches with the timber that was delivered the other week. Uh, the, the timber I had to use is all, it's really fencing timber. It's outdoor rough sawn timber. Uh, you can see the surface of it's really rough. I would have liked to have got framing timber, sort of dried framing timber, but at the moment there's a building material shortage in New Zealand. So it's really hard to get anything. And I did have some in the shopping cart because I have to get wood delivered. I've got nothing suitable for transporting large amounts of wood myself. Uh, and I had timber in the shopping cart and then when I went to check it out, it had already gone. So everything's being snapped up. So I sort of got what I could. And I ended up using these uh, 200 by 50 boards for the top, 100 by 100 for the outside legs, and 50 by 100 for the middle legs and all the cross supports and it's really simple construction it's just bolted at the top uh, just a piece on the bottom that i attach with uh, with nail plates to hold the bottom to stop the bottom of the legs splaying out and underneath here you can see it's just bolted through and I just used a single bolt because then I can adjust the legs to get everything square and uh, all nicely in place. And once it's all sitting on the floor, it's pretty stable because it's so heavy. So these are just screws that go all the way through the top. And then I did, I have started planing the top to get it smooth. Uh, it's about now that you, uh, you wish you had a plane bigger than the the little Stanley number four there but with a bit of work you can see the shavings around it does the job it doesn't need to be perfect I just want it so it's smooth so there are no steps at the joins so you can slide things across it basically and then I went over it with a little random orbit sander it's about now I was wishing I had a belt sander as well because that would that would be quite nice just to, to get it smooth so I'll just do a little bit more sanding a little bit more planing a little bit more sanding and then that should be done. Uh, there's no cross bracing or anything across the bottom or diagonals because I want to leave the bottom of it as open as possible because then you can fit things like that shelving underneath there. All that is really good storage space. And you can see I've got another set of legs there and the rest of the timber for the top. I'm gonna to make a second bench, which I'll just leave rough, I think. And that will go in along there and I can store the tires and the wheels and things like that underneath it because it's 800 wide. Uh, this bench I'm going to put the steel plate probably on this end. The vise will go probably along in the middle here on that side 
and the pillar drill which is down on the floor will go up on that end and I've tried to keep the legs on the ends at least four inches in from the outside um, so that you've got room you can clamp things all the way around if you need to I'm more of a, a metal worker obviously than a woodworker so it's not a woodworking bench if you look online there's all sorts of plans for all kinds of fancy benches online um, all I really did the only thing I really took into consideration was the height and it is sized so that when my blue vise there is bolted onto it that the top of the vise jaws are about equal to my elbow and the logic of that is when you're filing or something you want your your arm flat with the top of the vice jaws so it's all set to that so I'm just gonna give it one last thing to make sure it's smooth and then I'll move all this junk and we'll we'll shift it over to there finally finished the first of my workbenches uh, I still need to build the second one these things always take way longer than you think they're going to so this one here it's about 2.4 meters long I swear I was going to have it longer, but it seems I didn't. Um, but originally it was only going to be 600 wide, which was three of these these boards. In the end, I made it wider because I've got the space. So they're 800 wide, a little bit more than 800, because even though these are 200 wide boards, they're actually about 205 millimeters because they're rough, unfinished. Uh, I still might do a bit more sanding on the top. I did find there was a little bit of wiggle end to end in it, so I ended up putting in some extra bracing uh, just under here. So there's one here that goes across to the middle and is screwed in the end and screwed from the top, and there's one on the other side but the opposite corner. So along there, you can see the screws for it. Uh, I may put some filler over these screw holes and then sand them down just so it's all nice and smooth. I also routed out the edge and fitted a steel edge along two sides. So this is sort of recessed in so it's flush on the front and the face and that's really handy for sheet metal type work. Um, also I finally have somewhere solid to put my my flat steel plate which is quite good for welding on top of and I've just thrown the shells in there temporarily for now but I've got my MIG welder, my TIG welder without the gas bottle that'll probably have to sit under here so I might swap those two around um, bunch of things in boxes so finally I can start reassembling the Riley because I'm frankly getting sick of whacking my shins into everything that's sticking out especially the front axle and I still need to build the the second bench which won't need to be as robust and as solid as this one because it's not going to be worked on as much so it's more for storage and like I say that'll that'll go over there uh, but it's good to have the the vise firmly bolted down this is sized for me so that when I'm at it my arms horizontal effectively and finally for the first time in about oh, since I've been in Wellington about five years the drill press is actually bolted to something solid so that's not going to go anywhere uh, I think that's about it. Oh, one thing to mention is I finally ended up with enough views on my little channel here that YouTube said I could monetize it. And I've said before, I'm not trying to build a YouTube channel. I'm trying to build a car. So I never ask people to subscribe or any of that nonsense. But I did monetize the videos because if I don't, YouTube does anyway. So... I get no say whether or not the ads get run. I just get a say on whether or not I get paid. And it's not a lot of money anyway. So so apologies if there are ads in these now. I'm not sure if they, they were or not before. So I think that's about it. Uh, like I say, I'm not trying to build a channel. I'm trying to build a car. But one, one of the points of the channel is making contact with other people with Rileys. And um, somebody saw my films and got in touch and we've been having a bit of a chat backwards and forwards and uh, he had some spare parts he was able to to send down to me which is really cool these are the 
the springs for the brakes for the Riley and extra levers and extra cams. So I'll check and see if these are in better condition than the ones I've got, which I think they are. So I'll make use of those. Um, so hopefully finish the second bench, start doing more Riley stuff.